Evening, I'm Charles Benson. The state assembly was set to repeal the mandate today, but lawmakers hit a snag. Ben Jordan is at the Capitol tonight to explain how getting rid of the mask mandate could also cost the state millions in federal funding. Assembly Republicans say their allies in the Senate flat out made a mistake by voting to overturn the governor's emergency order without realizing the significant implications. Republican state lawmakers were poised to end Governor Tony Evers' emergency order today and nix the statewide mask mandate. I think the story of the day is what's not on the calendar. Their efforts stalled once they learned $50 million in funding was on the line. We do not want to repeat that mistake. Congress passed coronavirus relief for the states last year, providing food assistance funding under one condition. The states need to have an emergency health order in place. Wisconsin Senate Republicans didn't know that when they voted to repeal Governor Evers' order on Tuesday. Senators amended their bill today. The measure would still end the governor's mask mandate, but it offers Evers the power to issue a new emergency order just to accept federal assistance. While GOP senators think they have a potential fix, assembly leaders are putting things on hold for now. We are going to take time and work with the Fiscal Bureau at the, and the legislature, uh, along with all of the appropriate agencies to guarantee that when we pass SGR 3, and we will pass it, that we do it in a way that does not have any potential financial implications for the state. Democratic state lawmakers are calling this misstep a win for public health by keeping the mask mandate in place. So I am relieved and hope that in the time between now and then we can make some better decisions and remind ourselves why. Uh, why we're here. Assembly leaders say they'll give this vote another try next week. Republicans claim Governor Evers has overstepped his powers by continually reissuing these emergency orders without going through the legislature as required by state law. Reporting at the state capitol, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.